the infinite sequence a1, a2, etc. of integers satisfies the following conditions. The values of all members of this sequence are in the range 1, 2015. And for each member of this sequence, the sum of the value of this member and its sequential number is unique in the entire sequence. Prove that there exist two positive integers, B and capital N, such that for all M not less than capital N and all lowercase n greater than M. The inequality shown on the screen holds. Let's denote the highest possible value of the members of this sequence by capital letter H for height. In this problem, H equals 2015. Let's use a smaller number, like 5, for convenience of illustration. Let's construct a sequence of members AI that satisfy the conditions of this problem. To satisfy the condition number 2, we will need to use the finite number of what we'll call tracks that we will mark by different colors. For example, on this diagram, the black track starts at i equals 1 and has value 4. Then the next argument i for this track will be 1 plus 4. And at that point, we will assign it, for example, number 2, in which case the next argument is forced to be 7, and so forth. The second red track defines its first member at i equals 2 and assigns it value 2. And the next argument i is forced to be 2 plus 2 and so forth. This rule requires that these tracks do not share the same arguments i, which would violate the rule number 2 of this problem. The complete set of tracks is supposed to cover the entire set of natural numbers and divide it into the subsets of points on i-axis that represent individual tracks. The sum of value of each member of this sequence and its sequential number is unique in each track and is also unique in the entire sequence since these tracks do not share any points on the i-axis. So a track consists of an infinite sequence of isosceles right triangles contiguously located on i-axis as shown on the diagram, and once started, each track must continue indefinitely because it's solely responsible for assigning a value at each point on i-axis where it touches this axis. And once the value is assigned to it, that defines the next point on i-axis, which forms the next isosceles right triangle. Notice point i equals 3, where the value has not been defined by the two tracks that we have constructed up to this point. This requires a new track to be started at this point. The new green track starts at this point and fills this gap. It's assigned the only value that is possible for it at this point, value 5, and continues at point 3 plus 5. Note that we cannot assign any value less than 5 to index i number 3, because then the sum of i and value a i would be equal to the same sum of some other member of the same sequence. For example, if we assign 4 to i equals 3, the sum is 7, and there is another member of the sequence with i equals 5 and value 2, whose sum is also 7 and that would contradict condition number 2 of this problem. Let's denote the total number of tracks in our sequence by letter B, and let's set B in the inequality that we are supposed to prove to this number. We can do it since we choose the value of B and the starting point of any interval on the i-axis. Suppose that B equals 1. In other words, there is only one track in the entire sequence. Then this single track is supposed to cover the entire set of natural numbers on the i-axis, and therefore the members of this sequence cannot have any value other than 1, 
because with any value greater than 1, it would leave a gap on the i-axis, which no other track can fill. In this trivial case, the inequality that we're supposed to prove obviously holds, because all the differences between the value of each member and number b is equal to 0. This diagram illustrates the other extreme case. Suppose that we have any interval on i axis of length h, such as the interval from i equals 3 to i equals 8 on this diagram. It's clear that every one of b tracks must touch some point inside this interval on i axis, because the largest length of the horizontal side of any isosceles right triangle that belongs to any track is h, so no track can entirely skip this interval. So if number of tracks b is greater than h, then there is simply not enough room in this interval of size h for all b tracks. And if b equals h, then starting at some point on i axis, such as point 3 on the diagram, all members of this sequence must have value equals to h. It's obvious from the geometry of these isosceles right triangles in this case that every one of them must have the largest possible size of its side equal to h. In this trivial case, our inequality holds because the difference between the value of each member of this sequence and b equals zero. We have proved so far that two extreme cases for the value of b, 1 and h, are trivial cases for which the inequality of this problem holds. Now let's study the cases when b is selected from the range 2 and h minus 1, and we'll construct the sequence that we claim has the largest possible value of the expression in the left-hand side of our inequality. Let's, for simplicity, start this sequence at i equals 1 and assign the maximal possible value h to the first consecutive b minus 1 points on i axis. Then the sum in the interval from 1 to b minus 1, or we can as well call it from m plus 1 to m plus b minus 1, equals the value of each member h minus constant b times the number of members, which is b minus 1. That gives us b minus 1 times h minus b. Notice that this sequence of b minus 1 tracks leaves the gap on i axis between points b minus 1 and h plus 1. And since only one track is left to cover this gap, this track must have all values of all its members, except for the last one, in this interval equal to 1. So if we continue the interval 1 to b minus 1 longer, all the way to h minus 1, then on each point we will have to add its value 1 minus b, which is the negative number, and in the end of the interval 1 through h minus 1, the sum is reduced to 0. This is because the number of members in the interval from b to h minus 1 is h minus b. So our sum in the interval b to h minus 1 equals 1 minus b times h minus b. Since the expression in the left-hand side of our inequality has absolute value, then each of these two intervals, 1 through b minus 1 or b through h minus 1, has the same sum equals b minus 1 times h minus b, which is the largest possible value of this sum for the given numbers b and h, at least within the interval 1 through h minus 1 that we have constructed. The example shown on the diagram has h equals 5, b equals 4, the first b minus 1 members are 3 members, whose sum is 5 minus 4 times 3 equals 3. The length of the remaining interval is 1. Its sum is 1 minus 4, that's minus 3. The sum of these two intervals is 0. 
This example also has h equals 5, but the number of tracks here is 3. So b minus 1 is 2. So we have two members whose sum for the interval of 1 to 2 is 5 minus 3, that's 2, times 2 equals 4. And the remaining interval has two members whose height is 1. We subtract 3 from each of them. That gives us minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. The total is 0. The maximal sum in this example is 4. We have proved that the maximum of the absolute value of our sum equals b minus 1 times h minus b, where b is the given number of tracks and h is the given largest value of a member of our sequence. Within the interval of length h minus 1 that we have constructed on i axis. This expression is a quadratic polynomial if you consider b a variable, and b squared has negative coefficient, so the graph of this quadratic polynomial is a parabola oriented down, and its point of maximum is the vertex of this parabola. It lies in the middle between two roots. The two roots are 1 and h, uh, so the midpoint between 1 and h is h plus 1 divided by 2, and the value of this point of maximum is h minus 1 over 2 squared. Since the value of h in this problem is 2015, this expression equals 1007 squared. And lastly, we need to prove that the sum of our first b minus 1 members is the largest possible sum, and that the negative part from b to h minus 1 is the smallest possible sum, or the largest sum, if we apply absolute value. Consider the lattice of height h and infinite length as shown on the diagram, starting at such point after which every vertical line in this lattice crosses all tracks of the given sequence. Let's denote by EI the sum of vertical coordinates or heights of the cross points of all the tracks on the vertical line number I in this lattice. The values of EI are shown on the diagram for all I from 0 to 10. Think of the numbers displayed under the lattice on our illustration diagram as relative numbers, where 0 corresponds to m, 1 corresponds to m plus 1, etc. It's easy to prove that the sum of terms a i minus b, where i varies from m plus 1 to n, equals e n minus e m, as shown on the diagram. This equality is true for any contiguous interval of any length for any sequence AI that meets the conditions of this problem. If all tracks are present in this interval and the number of tracks is B. To prove this equality, consider the difference EI minus EI minus 1 for any number I. The result of this subtraction is the value AI from which 1 is subtracted exactly b times, so that this difference equals ai minus b. If you perform the same operation for vertical lines i minus 1 and i minus 2, the result will be ai minus 1 minus b, etc. So if we subtract em from en, the result will be the sum of terms ai minus b for all numbers from m plus 1 to n. All that's left is to prove that the absolute value of en minus em calculated for our specially constructed sequences is the largest possible. We have constructed two special sequences, one from relative number 1 to b minus 1 and the other from b to h minus 1. Point B minus 1 on our diagram is 2, and point M is 0. Point H is relative number 5, and so point H minus 1 is 4. The cross points of B minus 1 tracks at the rightmost point of our first sequence, B minus 1. 
have heights h, h minus 1, h minus 2, etc. And the remaining single track has height 1. Note that any vertical line in this lattice for any sequence must have a track crossing it at height 1, since that track must touch the i-axis in the next vertical line. So our number en at point b-1 is the clear winner since it has the standard component 1 plus b-1 largest possible numbers. And EM at our relative point 0 has the lowest numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. to B, which follows from the geometry of our specially constructed sequence. H minus 1, which on our diagram is relative number 4, has also the sum of the lowest possible numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. to B, which also follows from the geometry of our specially constructed sequence. And point B minus 1, which on our diagram is a relative point 2, has the largest possible sum, which we have just proved. So no other sequence can have the negative difference En minus EM smaller than ours. Its absolute value is equal to En minus EM in our positive interval 1 to B minus 1, which has the maximal possible value altogether. We're done.